Good morning traders. Welcome to Privateer FX Asian preview in the North American wrap. Uh, so we had the FOMC, the long awaited FOMC day, Powell's first FOMC meeting and press conference. Uh, the market was leaning toward a, a slightly more hawkish uh, outcome than what we ended up getting. They kept the rate hikes to three and the dots to three for 2018 and then added one for 2019. And the, uh, many participants were expecting uh, a fourth hike, four hikes total in 2018. So I think the market found that a little bit disappointed. The Hawks were a little bit disappointed. And uh, initially the equities rallied and you can see here the NASDAQ we went up and, and made a high of the day up at right around 69.50 and then tried very hard, almost did the outside bearish engulfing, outside reversal day lower, but did have a little bit of a rally at the end. Um, again, you know, not a great looking bar. This still looks toppy to us. This is still kind of a sell in rallies. The S&P looks very similar. Um, again, it rallied after FOMC and then started selling off toward the end of the day. But uh, that also, it pretty much matched yesterday's low and uh, but close lower so you know a, little, a bit of indecision here the past couple of days in the in the equity complex we're still we're still selling rallies um, but it doesn't seem to want to go anywhere um, anywhere fast so um, we'll keep an eye you know definitely keep an eye on these equities uh, let's go over to the currencies the currencies were the big movers here um, and it's just straight across the board I mean we'll go go to an hourly chart so you can see the see the uh, some of the moves that we had big move up <clears throat> in euro initial move was slightly lower and then went straight up uh, about 100 points into this Fibonacci two-thirds approaching these old hourly highs uh, I believe that yeah, it did not quite, it's put in a reversal higher day, but not an outside reversal higher. You can see this big green bar. Yeah, so if you, pretty much every currency looks the same. The Australian dollar rallied hard. There's the daily in that. That's an outside reversal day higher. Bullish engulfing. Uh, cable, just perma bid. Highest close we've seen in a couple months. Uh, that, that and cable we think is you know got 142.50 written all over it. There's no reason it can't get back up to even these old highs here at 143.50. Um, first stop is kind of right here where we're trading that old high, and then we got some cycle highs up here at 142.77, and then the, the main one up here. So the dollar definitely looks back foot. Dollar yen tried tried to put in the outside reversal day lower. Made a new high by four pips right against this FIBO after FOMC. Made a new low, but then closed just above uh, pr the previous day's low. So it's it's not a full-on bearish engulfing outside oh, reversal lower pattern. Um, but you know you can see it pretty much in every dollar pair. There's dollar max collapse. That's that's more NAFTA. Dollar cat again in Asia. The NAFTA headlines hit, and that that has never recovered. It's dropped, you know, 150 points straight line, and there was very little, uh, very little rally. We think this dollar cat and some of the cat crosses, being long cat against various other pairs, is going to be a good trade here going forward. We're definitely uh, think this is a game changer. We we do think NAFTA could be announced. A decision with NAFTA and an agreement could be announced uh, any day now. So. Uh, that would that would fuel the fire for max and cad gains uh that's about it for now uh not much on the data front we will uh the rbnz came out earlier complete non-event kiwi did nothing uh really at all as you can see here this is the big up move on fomc and then we've just kind of been trading sideways since uh so keep your powder dry and you'll hear from us on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.